WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. The fireworks should begin. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. And this is your 2 p.m. update. And we've got a Fed decision that is imminent. So I've seen the markets here uh, take off just a tad to the downside. The uh, Dow, uh, well, and so my, my charts here, because, because there's so much activity going on, things are a little clogged. But right now, uh, let's go take a look. Let's switch over to the panel. You'll see just simply how frozen things are. Give me a moment out here. Oh, you're, you're taking a look at it right now, as we see. So you've got the uh, Dow down about 102 points, 110, S&P 18. Gold's uh, down to uh, down 14 bucks or so, trading around 1758. I'm sure that's not exactly where it's trading. You'll see that everything here is kind of frozen as uh, all of this data. I just uh, simply have too many uh, windows that are open here. So that's the initial reaction. Let's simply go over and take a look at my cash indice charts out here just to get a feel for what they're communicating to us or what to be watching for come days in, not the knee-jerk reaction. So we begin by taking a look at the upper left-hand corner, and that is the Dow Jones cash indice. To see right now, prices testing that green oscillator and change line. The level there is 35, 35,503 is what we'll call it. So, if price is able to close above that, then a key level of support will have held, and the Dow should go target the uh, this is the Dow Jones Industrials, the 35,952 level. The SP 500 yesterday pulled back, tested a key swing point, or actually, yesterday it did two things it uh, tested a key swing point and it closed the uh, gap that it had. So um, as long as that area holds, and I really say it's the key swing point. So in the e in the S and P 500, the level to be watching here is a 46,0803 oh, level. We're at 46,17. As long as price holds that, that suggests a move higher would be likely. The NDX 100. Um, this has a buy the D point. It did that when it gapped to the upside, but price still may be pulling back to test the 15,578 level. That's its breakout area. The Russell 2000, it still has a TD9 count bottom, and it will remain with that TD9 count bottom so long as price does not close below 21.47.40. We're below that by five points right now. It's also triggering a road's momentum indicator signal. The semis still in a consolidation pattern. The transport's not doing much out there. And uh, that's all I've got for you. So stay tuned. Uh, the fireworks should, the show should continue. And it should continue through probably about 3.30 today. Dave White will take the handoff from here. Tom O'Brien will take it after that. And I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock sharp. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks.